Can you tell me about your involvement in world music? Uh, yeah, I worked uh, first uh, in world music in the mid-90s, where I had great pleasure of working with a bit of a pioneer in that sector, somebody called Anne Hunt, an organisation arts worldwide. And I was her general manager for five years. And uh, Anne would often talk about um, uh, world music. Uh, this was, a, uh, if you like, a, a marketing term invented sometime in the 80s. But she would also talk a lot about interculturalism, and at the time I wasn't quite sure what she meant, but I do understand now, as you were over the years. Um, and it's an interesting um, fact, I mean, maybe not so interesting, that world music was invented in a pub, as this is the famous story, as a marketing term which enabled a group of uh, artists and managers and labels to put their work into um, uh, HMV and Tower Records and places like that so that people could find it. Now, um, there's a lot of dispute now about whether world music is the right term to use. And a few years ago, uh, I was asked by the Arts Council to write a book about this. And um, when I interviewed people, what I found was that, that, yes, definitely, there is really two camps. First of all, there are people who passionately cling to the notion of world music because they believe that there should be um, a recognized sector or subsector of music where music of other nations um, is, is um, nurtured and given the opportunity to grow and the artists are given uh, subsidy and support and there is a, there's definitely a group of very knowledgeable managers and, and agents who want to work in that area. And then there's another group of people who are actually interested in taking music from other places. I mean, one of the definitions of world music is local music from over there bringing that, those traditions of music and, and, and I suppose creating some kind of fusion or uh, at least uh, placing it uh, into the more mainstream market. And you can certainly see that model in places like France. In the UK, we're still, I think, very much uh, in the, world, the old world music model. And of course, it generates a lot of debate. It's a little bit like the debate around uh, what is jazz because world music is effectively a brand with a very imprecise brand image. But if you talk to people about uh, world music, they can sort of understand what you mean. And I think that that is good enough for now. What would be interesting to see is how the new generation of producers and promoters who've definitely come in after the mid 80s when this term was first invented, what they do with it and how they perceive music from other cultures and how that can be integrated or presented in, in, let's call it Western culture, for the sake of argument. There's a lot of crossover. You get hip hop from Sudan, you know, and you, you get drum and bass from India. So, it, you know, nowadays, the world music term is a very broad church, and maybe the edges of it are becoming extremely blurred.